Sinopec wins green hydrogen mega project in Saudi Arabia. What if I told you the world's most oil-rich nation is now betting big on hydrogen? Sounds strange, right? But it's not just any hydrogen, it's green hydrogen. And it's at the center of one of the biggest energy pivots in modern history. And guess who's leading the charge? Not an American company, not a European giant, but Sinopec, China's state-owned oil titan. The same company that built its empire on fossil fuels is now leading the green revolution in the middle of the desert. Today, we're diving into the massive green hydrogen project that could either spark a new era of clean energy or explode into the next great economic rivalry. Let's unpack the 10 game-changing pieces of this green energy puzzle. Neom, the sci-fi desert city that's actually being built. Picture this a $500 billion futuristic city stretching 170 kilometers across the desert. No cars, no streets, no carbon emissions. That's Neom, Saudi Arabia's ambitious project that sounds more like a Netflix original than a real place. But it's real. And it's here that the largest green hydrogen plant in the world is being built. It's called Helios Green Fuels, and it's set to change everything. Of course, building a zero-carbon city in one of the world's hottest, driest places isn't exactly easy. The temperatures soar, the wind is brutal, and water? Almost non-existent. But that's the magic trick. They're using that very heat and wind to power solar and wind farms, feeding the hydrogen plant. So while skeptics say it's science fiction, Neom is already pouring concrete, and soon, green hydrogen will be pouring out with it. Sinopec, the fossil fuel, giant turning green, with dollars. When a traditional oil company announces a green energy project, it usually means planting a few trees and calling it a day. But Sinopec isn't playing that game. They've signed on to build a 600-ton-per-day green hydrogen plant in Saudi Arabia, a scale so massive it will rival entire national outputs. The irony? Sinopec made its fortune selling the very fossil fuels we're trying to quit. Now, it's using that money to cash in on the clean energy boom. Some call it greenwashing, others call it evolution. But either way, this is a bold play. Geopolitically, it's genius. By partnering with Saudi Arabia, China gains influence in the Gulf while diversifying its own energy sources, something it desperately needs as it races toward carbon neutrality by 2060. Of course, there's risk. The technology is still emerging, costs are sky-high, and political tensions could derail everything. But Sinopec's entrance makes one thing clear. When fossil fuel kings start investing in green energy, it's no longer a trend, it's a transition. Green hydrogen, the clean fuel, nobody talks about yet. You've heard of electric cars, solar panels, and wind turbines. But green hydrogen? That's the underdog of clean energy. It's made by splitting water into hydrogen and oxygen using renewable electricity. The result? A zero-emission fuel that can power trucks, factories, and even airplanes. The catch? It's expensive. Producing green hydrogen today costs two to three times more than fossil fuels. Plus, it's tricky to store and transport. But Saudi Arabia and Sinopec are betting that economies of scale and falling renewable costs will change that. And they're not alone. Europe, Australia, and Japan are all racing to corner the green hydrogen market. But with this mega plant, Saudi Arabia could leapfrog the competition and become the OPEC of green energy. So if you thought hydrogen was just a chemistry class topic, think again. It might soon power your plane, your heat, or even your pizza delivery truck. Saudi Arabia's shift from black gold to green dreams. For decades, Saudi Arabia's economic heartbeat has been oil. But even the House of Saud knows the clock is ticking. Climate pressure, international regulation, and the rise of EVS are eating into demand. So, Vision 2030 was born. A bold plan to diversify the economy, and green hydrogen is its crown jewel. Skeptics say Saudi Arabia is too dependent on oil to pivot. But here's the catch. They're not replacing oil overnight. They're hedging betting on both horses. And with projects like the Helios Hydrogen Plant, they're showing the world they mean business. Still, public trust in these promises is mixed. After all, transitioning from oil to renewables isn't just about money, it's about mindset, workforce, and willpower. But the scale of investment is massive, 
the political will is strong, and the message is loud. The Desert Kingdom is rewriting its energy destiny. Global Impact, the race to own the hydrogen future. This project isn't happening in a vacuum. As Saudi Arabia and Sinopec join forces, other countries are watching closely. The United States has its own hydrogen initiatives. Germany's building hydrogen trains. Japan's eyeing hydrogen-powered ships. Everyone wants in. The danger? A new kind of energy cold war. Whoever controls hydrogen production could control global energy flows. It's like the early days of oil, but with zero emissions and much higher stakes. But don't panic. A diversified hydrogen economy could actually lead to more balance, fewer monopolies, and cleaner trade. If done right, this could be the most cooperative energy shift in history. If done wrong, well, let's just say we might need another UN summit. Technology, the engineering behind the hydrogen hype. Creating green hydrogen in a desert isn't like making lemonade. It's a high-tech symphony of solar arrays, electrolyzers, cooling systems, and advanced AI-powered grid management. And it's being scaled at a rate we've never seen before. Electrolyzers, machines that split water into hydrogen, are the heart of the operation. But they're fragile, expensive, and notoriously energy-hungry. Making them run efficiently in 45 degrees Celsius heat is a challenge only top-tier engineers are brave enough to attempt. Still, innovation is exploding. From AI-powered optimization to modular hydrogen pipelines, the tools are evolving fast. It's like watching the birth of the internet, but this time, it powers the real world. China and Saudi, a new energy alliance or strategic gamble. Historically, China and Saudi Arabia had a simple relationship, buyer and seller. But this project marks a new chapter. It's about joint ventures, shared technology, and co-owning the future of energy. But let's be real, this isn't just about saving the planet, it's about power. China wants influence in the Gulf, Saudi wants relevance in Asia. This partnership could stabilize the region or inject more competition into an already volatile market. Still, for now, both sides are smiling. Money's flowing, deals are inked, and construction has started. Whether it's a marriage of convenience or a new axis of energy leadership, only time will tell. Environmental stakes. Is green always clean? Green hydrogen sounds perfect. Zero emissions, renewable-powered, future-friendly. But scratch the surface and it's more complicated. Building massive solar farms in the desert affects local ecosystems. Producing electrolyzers requires rare minerals. And desalinating water for hydrogen use? That's a whole new environmental cost. Yet compared to coal or oil, Green hydrogen is still a giant leap forward. The key is managing scale and sustainability together. If this project sets the standard, clean construction, ethical sourcing, local involvement, it could redefine what green truly means. So no, it's not flawless, but it's a whole lot cleaner than the past. And in this global race, progress matters more than perfection. If you found this deep dive into the future of green hydrogen insightful, Take a second to hit that like button. It helps more than you know. Subscribe for more breakdowns of the biggest energy shifts shaping our world, from deserts turning into powerhouses to oil giants reinventing themselves as clean tech pioneers. And don't forget to share this video with someone who still thinks the future of energy is all about batteries and EVS.